boys and girls. How are you? Look, it's Mrs. Walker. <laughs> Can you believe it? I must really love you guys to be out here in the hot Florida sun in my super cool Scooby-Doo costume. Here's a fun fact about Mrs. Walker, okay? My very favorite cartoon in the whole world is what? Can you guess what it is? It's Scooby-Doo! It's Scooby-Doo! And every Halloween, every Halloween for 19 years, I've always dressed as Scooby-Doo. It's my favorite! So to kick off Mystery Month, what else would Mrs. Walker do but put on Scooby-Doo to come out here and talk to you about mysteries because they are super cool. They're one of Mrs. Walker's very favorite types of stories, but they have a lot of elements that we need to talk about, okay? So I want you to pay really close attention. Now, boys and girls, a mystery is a kind of story that has a secret or something that is very difficult to explain. And usually, in a mystery, a crime has been committed, okay? Or something has been lost or stolen. Now, boys and girls, some mysteries are make-believe, like Scooby-Doo, or Magic Treehouse books, or Cam Jansen. But, boys and girls, some mysteries are real life mysteries, like the Bermuda Triangle, or the Loch Ness Monster, or the disappearance of Amelia Earhart. So mysteries are just super awesome. Now, as we get ready to read our mystery this week, we're gonna talk about different elements of a mystery story. There are specific things that I need you to be looking for this week, okay? And the first one is characters. The characters in a mystery story are really, really important for us to understand. There's four types, four, well, four, like this, four, you see? Oh, I love it. So the four types of characters that we have in a mystery story, we have our suspects, we have our victim, we have our witnesses, and we have our detectives, all right? Four types of characters. Now, boys and girls, we have our suspect. Now, that's the person who we think probably committed the crime. We don't have enough evidence, we don't have enough clues, we're gonna have to do our detective work as we go through the story, but that's the person who we think committed the crime. Then we have our victim, boys and girls. Every mystery has a victim. Okay, that's the person who has been harmed or wronged in the story. So as we read through chapter one, we're gonna have to find out who's our victim. Okay, now our third type of character that we're gonna have to look for in our mystery story, they're our witnesses, boys and girls. They're the people who saw, who saw, <laughs> who saw the crime happen. There may be one witness, there may be five, there may be 10, we don't know. So we're gonna have to do some detective work and probably talk to those witnesses along the way. Okay? Then we have our detectives. That's our fourth type of character, boys and girls. Okay? Our detectives. Now, sometimes detectives, they're adults and sometimes they're kids, just like us, okay? Or just like Scooby here. And they do their detective work to uncover who has committed the crime in the story. Now, boys and girls, our story this week is called The Case of the Missing Caraviglio. Oh, what a cool name. Now, I never want you to underestimate the power of the title of a story. I'm gonna say it again. Our title this week is called The Case of the Missing Caraviglio. Right away, I hear that word case. Do you hear that word case? Okay, isn't that what detectives work on? They work on a case, don't they? They're gonna solve a case. So that's a clue 
that I'm in a mystery story. Okay, the case of the missing Caraviglio. I hear the word missing, don't you hear it in there? Isn't that what the definition of a crime story is? That something is missing or lost? So right away I know that I'm in a mystery story. Awesome! Now as I go through chapter one, I'm gonna have to read very carefully, very carefully. I'm gonna read the story once, chapter one, but I might have to read it a second time, boys and girls, and I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, Mrs. Walker, we're great readers. But even myself, boys and girls, even me, even Scooby, we're gonna have to read with a very careful eye because we know, boys and girls, that reading and writing go hand in hand. They go hand in hand. So I'm gonna to have to read really carefully in chapter one because chapter one is where the setting of the story is laid out. Who are my characters and what are they doing? I'm gonna to have to find my types of characters. I'm gonna to have to pay close attention. Who's the suspect? That's usually when my characters are introduced and the crime is being revealed. So as we read chapter one, we're gonna to have to read with a careful eye and find out what's going on. And that's gonna lead us into chapter two. So when I get ready to write, I'm gonna really need to use Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday to plan out my chapter because I'm gonna have to stick close to chapter one. So it's got a really good flow as I take my characters on their journey to find out who has committed the crime, what is it, and how are they gonna solve it? All right, so read chapter one very carefully, and then I want you to start writing chapter two, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. On Wednesday, boys and girls, I want you to start submitting it to me. Now, I'm gonna pay a lot of close attention to your story and revisions. We really wanna keep it tight to the elements of a mystery story. So on Thursday, I'm gonna start doing revisions and sending it back to you, okay? And then on Friday, we'll start voting on our chapters. So Scooby-Doo and I are super excited to begin our mystery unit, okay? I can't wait to take a look at the awesome stories you're gonna write. And I'm super excited to be writing mysteries with you. You guys have a great day, and I'll be talking to you soon, okay?